General Electric Aviation has put together an engine it boasts is so gigantic that Shaquille O'Neal could comfortably fit inside of it with Kobe Bryant on his shoulders. Dubbed the largest jet engine in the world, GE non excess front fans span 11 feet in diameter, while its inlet duct measures 18 feet by 12 feet and it can generate 100,000 pounds of thrust. The record-breaking engine is the first working prototype that was developed to power Boeing 777X jet and is currently being tested at the GE's boot camp for engines near Peebles, Ohio. Testing of the engine is seen as a critical step towards development of the 777X aircraft family, a new version of the 777 Mini Jumbo with up to 406 seats that is due to enter service in 2020. Boeing asked G to develop an engine strong enough to power its 777X jet, which has prompted other airlines, including Emirates, Lufthansa and Qatar Airways, to place an order. In total, the firm has received more than 700 requests for the engines, valuing it $29 million. The GE 9 x is made with parts from lightweight and ultra-heat-resistant materials known as ceramic matrix composites that can operate at temperatures up to 2,400 degrees Fahrenheit. This allows the firm's engineers to keep the heat higher inside the engine, without having to burn through fuel or emissions. The hotter the engine gets, the more efficient it is, said GE Aviation spokesman Rick Kennedy in a recent statement. The advancement in 3D printing has also contributed to this cutting-edge engine, by allowing engineers to create more complex shapes, which were once impossible, including 3D printed fuel nozzles. These tunnels and caves are a closely guarded secret, said Kennedy. They determine how the fuel moves through the nozzle and sprays inside the combustion chamber. Currently the largest turbofan jet engine being produced by Rolls-Royce, GE's main competitor. The Trent XWB97 is a three-shaft turbofan jet engine with a fan diameter of 10 feet and can produce up to 97,000 pounds of thrust. These are being developed for the long-range Airbus A350-1000 Dreamliner passenger jets and has already been tested in the air on an aircraft. GE itself also produces the GE90, which has an overall diameter of 11 feet and can generate 93,700 pounds of thrust. It is currently used on the Boeing 777. In the new G9X engine, however, there are 16 fourth-generation carbon fiber fan blades at the front of the engine and feed air to the 11-stage high-pressure compressor. According to the firm, no other commercial engine has a pressure ration that's higher. Engineers also installed a fourth fuel tank to keep the engine from going thirsty. We also upgraded our engine hoists and transporters to handle the GE9X and modified a wall in our prep building so the engine can be moved after final assembly to make its way to the test stand, said Brian Debruin, plant manager for GE Aviation's People's Test Operation. This is the first time the firm has powdered the entire engine. It has been testing the components individually for years. Due to the significant amount of new technologies in the GE9X, we planned the testing program differently says GE9X program leader Chuck Jackson. The early testing informed the design and manufacturing and allowed us to freeze the product definition and test the total engine as soon as possible. Although GE9X has an impressive thrust generator of 100,000, the engine's predecessor, the GE90-115B, holds the record of 127,500 pounds. Approximately $10 million has been invested by GE to prepare its people's testing operation for the world's largest engine. Testing for the first GE9X began last month and GE Aviation will continue with it for several months in order to verify aerodynamic, thermal and mechanical characteristics of the engine. Not only has GE built the world's largest jet engine, it built the world's first American jet engine in 1942. The J-31 was the first jet engine to be mass-produced in the United States. It had a maximum thrust of 1,650 pounds and weighed 850 pounds with an RPM of 16,500. The J-31 was was developed from the original American-built jet engine. The General Electric IA The IA powdered the early test flights of the U.S.'s first jet aircraft, the Bell XP-59A Era Comet, and the more powerful J-31 was used in production P-59As and P-59BS.